Which of our young ladies is going to win all of those magnificent prizes? Well, I can tell you this much. She's one of the five whose names I am about to call. That's right. The time has come to announce our five finalists. The judges have voted. The computer has taken their votes, done its calculations, and here are the names on this card. Each contestant's cumulative score will be shown on your television screen at home. Here we go with the names of the five finalists. The first name is Miss Sweden. And how do y'all feel about Miss Brazil? Brazil, will you take your place right over here, please? There you are. Number three on the list of finalists is Miss Belgium. comes Miss Venezuela. <laughs> Number five on the list of five. She is Miss Canada. In a very few moments, one of these five young ladies will be our new Miss Universe. the search for the new Miss Universe, which began with thousands and thousands of young women from all over the world, has come down to only five. Previous scores decided who would get this far. Those scores, which you just saw, are now discarded completely. Starting at this point, all five finalists are even, and a new round of judging begins. The judges will be guided in making their final decisions in part by how each contestant answers the question she's about to be asked. The voting, as before, will be done by computer. Bob? Welke, this is our completely soundproof isolation booth. I'm about to ask each of our young ladies a question, and it will be the same question for each young lady. While one contestant is answering the question, the others will wait inside this booth. Should the young lady desire, an interpreter will be available to repeat either the question, her answer, or both. The answers are, of course, spontaneous and unrehearsed. Now, I am going to ask Miss Sweden to say with me, would you four young ladies step into the isolation booth, please? And while each of our finalists is answering her question, the judges will continue their evaluation, leading up to their choice of the new Miss Universe. Close the door, and girls, will you wave if you can hear me? Obviously, they cannot. Let you and I step right over here, please. And Miss Sweden, the question for you is, if the Miss Universe pageant could offer you the right to have one wish come true, not for the world, but for you personally, what would it be? That would be to bring my family all the happiness in the world, and that I could be with the people I love, and uh, make peace all over the world. And this contest has meant so much to me with all people all around the world with war and ten tents. Has More than what? <laughs> with war and tension. And then we all could come together and be friends, change ideas, and look at other different cultures. 
Thank you, Miss Sweden. Right over here, please. <laughs> Miss Belgium. Miss Belgium, right down here, please. If the Miss Universe pageant could offer you the right to have one wish come true, not for the world, but for you personally, what would it be? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> one wish. <laughs> To make a round of all, all, all over the world. To make what? For you personally. Yes, I think. <laughs> I have to, no, I don't know it too. <laughs> You're very happy just the way things are. Yes. All right, thank you, Miss Belgium. Right over here, please. <laughs> Miss Brazil. <laughs> Miss Brazil has an interpreter. And it'll make it easier for you, perhaps, if you take the question yourself and read it to her. Se você tivesse um desejo pessoal, não para o mundo, uh, que pudesse ser realizado com a sua vitória, o que é que você queria? Não o mundo. Desejo pessoal. Eu gostaria de fazer deste ano o ano mais feliz de minha vida. I would like to make this year the happiest year of my life. Wouldn't we all? Thank you. Right here, Mr. Zill. Right over here, please. All right, Miss Venezuela has an interpreter. And let me give you the card. Would you read her that question, please? Si el concurso de Miss Universe que le podría ofrecer la oportunidad de llevar a cabo un deseo, no para el mundo, sino para sí mismo, sí mismo ¿qué sería? Un deseo. Lograr la paz del mundo. To achieve peace in the world. Or did you impress in your interpretation that it was not for the world, but for her personally, please? No, no para el mundo, un deseo para sí mismo. Para mí misma. Sí. Ser yo misma. Disfrutar de todas las cosas bellas que la vida nos ofrece, el ser amiga de todas estas 80 participantes y aprender de cada una lo grande que cada quien tiene. To enjoy everything. I, I can tell the Spanish speaking people in our audience agree with what she said. I would like to enjoy everything that the world has to offer. I would like very much to make friends with all of the 80 girls that are here and to enjoy all of the good things that I've had here. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Venezuela. There you are, Miss Canada. Miss Canada, the question that I'm asking all of the girls is this. If the Miss Universe pageant, if the Miss Universe pageant could offer you the right to have one wish come true, not for the world, but for you personally, what would it be? One wish. Oh my God. <laughs> There's so many things I'd like to have. <laughs> Just if they offer me only one wish. Oh. From all of those things, choose one. Choose. Just, you said there were so many things you would like to have. Tell us about one of them. <laughs> I would like to meet all the people I could meet in my life and uh, tell them how much I could love them and how could everybody could be together all the time. Thank you, Miss Canada, and thank you, ladies. We've moved one step closer to finding out who will be the next Miss Universe. And I'm here with Margaret Gardner, who held the title of Miss Universe in 1978. Now, Margaret, I would like to ask you a couple of questions, if I may. Do you don't mind, do you? Not at all, Anne. Good. Now, how much did being Miss Universe affect your, affect your life? It did have quite a, a big effect on my life. I moved to New York for a start. It gave me lots of confidence. Um, I wrote a book. I traveled throughout the, the world. We've got a bright lady here. She wrote a book. Congratulations, Margaret. Now, another question. Do you remember what you were thinking when you made the final five and were waiting for the very final decision? That must have been incredible. It was. I was terribly nervous, naturally. I was very grateful that I had got this far. But I was hoping that I would win. And you did, and we're all glad you did. You're a lovely lady. Thank you very much, Margaret. 
And we'll have the final judging, a farewell from the current Miss Universe, Miss Sean Weatherly, and the announcement of our winner. And all that when we come back after this word for Mild Ivory Liquid.